Everybody, we are super excited to see you. Welcome to our treehouse. My name is Bethany, and this is my friend Ziggy. Hello, Bethany. Hello, everyone. Today, I don't really have much planned to be doing in the treehouse. I wonder if you ever have days like that. I'm thinking maybe later I could do some baking, or go to the shop, or maybe go play in the park. What are you up to, Ziggy? Oh, hi, Bethany. Uh, I'm just looking for my new headphones. They're really cool, and I got them at the weekend. Oh, super cool, but I think I might have them down here. Really? Yep. Here they are. Oh, wow, there they are. They're so cool. Would you like me to help you put them on? Oh, yes, please. Oh, wow. They are very, very cool. What kind of music are you listening to, Ziggy? Ziggy? Ziggy, what kind of music are you listening to? Ziggy! I wonder who that could be. Let's go and have a look. We need to press the purple button. Hi, Bethany. It's Pete the Postman. Hi, Pete the Postman. Come on up and join us. Oh, hey Bethany, hey Ziggy, hey everyone. Hi Pete, how are you? I'm good thanks, I'm good. Uh, hey Ziggy. Oh, I'm sorry Pete, Ziggy has his music on too loud so he can't hear you. Ziggy? Oh, Ziggy. oh, oh hi Pete the Postman. We've got a I didn't hear the doorbell ring. Oh, Pete the Postman. Hello. Hey Ziggy, good to see you. You too. I I think your music might be a little bit too loud. That's why you didn't hear the doorbell go. Nice headphones, by the way. Thanks, Pete. Yeah, I love my new headphones. I love the color and they play music really loud. Well, I'm glad to see they're doing their job well. Speaking of which, I've brought you some posts today. Here you go, Bethany. I wonder what it could be, Bethany. Will you open it? I love opening our post. Let's have a look. <gasps> it's a telephone! That's not a telephone! Yes, it is a telephone, Ziggy. That is what telephones used to look like before they changed. Ziggy? Yes? Do you know what a telephone is used for? Well, they're for talking as long as you want to on. Yes, but is there anything else? Um, I don't know. Ziggy, Ziggy, a telephone, you're right, it's great for talking, but we can also use it for something else, listening to what the other person has to say. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I wonder, Bethany, if that telephone has got anything to do with our story today. Hi, Bethany. Hi, everyone. Are you ready for today's story? In today's Bible story, we're going to hear about a little boy called Samuel and an old man called Eli. I'm going to tell you this story, but I think I'm going to need your help. When I say, Eli said, I want you to shout, go back to bed. Can you do that? Let's practice, okay. Eli said, go back to bed. Amazing. <laughs> Let's begin the story. Samuel was fast asleep and Eli was snoring in his bed. Everything was quiet. Then suddenly Samuel heard a voice call his name. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel woke up thinking it was Eli calling him. Samuel worked for Eli and he was always ready to help him if he needed it. He ran to Eli and said, here I am, why did you call me? But it wasn't Eli who called Samuel. So Eli said, go back to bed. So Samuel shrugged his shoulders and went back to bed. Samuel went back to sleep and Eli started to snore. And suddenly, Samuel heard a voice call his name again. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel thought it was Eli and he ran to wake him up. 
Samuel said to Eli, here I am. Why did you call me? But it wasn't Eli who called Samuel. So Eli said, go back to bed. So Samuel shrugged his shoulders, a little bit confused this time, and they went back to bed. Samuel fell fast asleep and Eli snored. Then Samuel woke up again and a voice called his name a third time. Samuel, Samuel. He ran to Eli saying, here I am. Why did you call me? Eli was just about to say, go back to bed. But then he stopped because he realised what was happening. The voice calling Samuel was God. Samuel just didn't realise it. Eli said, go back to bed. But this time, when you hear the voice say, speak, Lord, I am listening. So Samuel went back to bed and sure enough, there was a voice. Samuel, Samuel. But this time, Samuel knew that it was God speaking to him. So he said, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And even though Samuel was just a little boy, God spoke to him. And the amazing thing is that God can speak to each and every one of us anytime, anywhere, no matter how old or how young we are. If we listen, God can speak to us. See you next time. Well, I'm so glad I took off my headphones to listen to the story. So am I, Ziggy. Listening is really important. Like the boy in the story. Samuel, he was a really good listener. Yes, but he did need a little help to notice that it was God speaking to him. God loves to speak to us. And it's really cool because God speaks to us no matter how young or old we are. And he even knows our name. That's what prayer is, isn't it? Talking and listening to God. Like, like the telephone. We can talk to God whenever we need to. We can also listen to God whenever we need to. Exactly. God loves it when we chat to him. Just the same as we might chat to our mum or dad or friends. God's our friend and so we can talk to him too. Well, I was distracted by my headphones earlier because they're really cool. But do you think we could talk to God now? Let's chat to God now. God loves it when we tell him all sorts of things about us. So I wonder if I give you some things to tell God, could you whisper them into your hands? And also what you could do is if you have a cushion at home, you could whisper into the cushion. So Ziggy, would you like to whisper into a cushion? That would be great. Thanks, Bethany. Fantastic. So I wonder if you can tell God your favourite toy. Can you tell God someone you love? And can you tell God your favourite thing about the story today? Wonderful. Now just like we chat to God, God loves to chat to us too. And so we can try and catch what he is saying. So a bit like if you catch a ball, you have to use your whole body. So you use your eyes and your hands. God can talk to us in all sorts of ways. So it might be he gives us a picture in our mind or a feeling on our skin, or we hear something, or we might feel happy or calm. So I'm going to give you a question now. You can ask God and then we can wait for a little bit and try and catch what God's saying to us. So the question for you to ask God is to say, God, tell me your favourite thing about me. Awesome. God loves it when we chat to him. And we can do that any time and anywhere. How cool is that? That's amazing, Bethany. Yes. And so we can remember to chat to God and we can also listen for what he might say to us too. Now it's time for us to say goodbye, but we will see you again soon.
Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.